Well, hello, friends. This here is David Vos. It's really good to see everybody today. Today is uh, November the 20th, it's 2015. It's good to see everybody today. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing all this get up. I found that it makes my voice louder. Some people are having trouble hearing me on some of the phone devices that they listen to me on. And since my entire thing here is, you know, talking and explaining scriptures and thoughts. I want to make sure that everybody hears me. So, forgive me for this, um, but it makes it a lot easier to talk. So you can hear me. Well, it's a wonderful day here in New Mexico. Most of you who watch my videos probably saw the last two videos where we're talking about faith, things that are impossible, um, life and how bad things are. I literally have nothing prepared um, because I don't need to. You know, I have so much on my heart to talk about when it comes to this kind of thing. You know, all of you know, you know, that things in this world are really, really, really crazy. What's going on? You know, when I was a little kid, I wasn't always happy, but there was a lot of time when I was happy because, well, you know, I didn't know that there was anything funner to do. I was content with playing outside in my yard by myself because I never had friends. So I would play with my trucks and stuff or whatever. You know, you can get lost in your thoughts and you're perfectly at peace when you're a little kid and you're pretending, you know, you're pretending to to do something, um, drive a truck or be a logger in the dirt and got little trucks and stuff, and then you're perfectly happy. So I think that happiness isn't really, I mean, there's two different things. There's pleasure. You know, we all love pleasure, going somewhere fun, doing something exciting. That's fun. But we don't have to have that kind of thing really to be, and, well, we could find that anywhere. You don't have to go to Disneyland to have fun. You know, you can go out in the woods, climb a tree. I used to, when I was a kid, we used to climb top of these pine trees. Me and a friend of mine, you know, real tall pine trees, they'd sway back and forth. We'd get way at the top. And we'd get these trees rocking back and forth. And we'd swing it over to another tree and grab on. And we'd go as far as we could go that way. We'd have a contest. We had the, we had the most fun you can imagine. Remember when I was nine years old, we had a tree. I called it the rubber tree because you could just bend those branches as far as you wanted and never broke. We had so much fun playing on that tree. Point is, is that we had a lot of fun. We were able to make up stuff to do and invent things to have fun because we didn't have any stress. We were kids. That's what's the problem with the world today is a lot of you, you've been worked on for quite a, quite a while. You're a grown up now and you're not allowed to have fun. You got to get out there and work. You got to do this and you got to pay the payments and you got and then all your friends are dying or on drugs or sick or they need money or or you need money. You know, you're trying to take care of your children, your family, you're about to lose your wife cuz she's unhappy cuz you don't have any way to make a living. It could be that you're an alcoholic because of the depression become addicted to pills. We've talked about this. There's so many problems. We don't need to go through all of the possibilities, but the problem is, is that we're not happy. This world is bad. Is there something wrong with it? We can't change the way the world is. That's why the Bible says we're no part of the world, but we, we live in the world. It says we, we, we have to live in the world, but we're no part of it. But you see, it's very difficult to be completely no part of the world. I mean, Jesus walked around and says he had no place to lay his head. He didn't, he, he, he spent his short time on this earth learning, helping others. I'm sure he had fun. You know, I'm sure, I mean, there's nowhere in the Bible where it says Jesus and his disciples went out and played ball. Or went, you know, had some run frolicked in the grass or whatever. But I believe that's, that, that he did that. I really do, I'm at. Um, I really believe that this world was created and made 
for us to enjoy ourselves. After all, what's the point of life if we're not happy? If, if, it, if for all eternity we're just going to be sad, we might as well shoot ourselves right in the head right now. If, if we know that's what's going to happen, we're just going to be sick and dying and unhappy, then there's no point. I think a lot of times in this world we're told that, well, you can't be happy. That's selfish. You've got to get out there and work, provide for your family, and, you know, be messing around doing all this fun stuff because you got responsibilities and um, and also, you know, you're going to go to hell because you did this and that and the other thing. I think there's just so much, the lies have been built up so heavy that we completely can't get our way out of this maze because um, I really believe that the, old, the, the entire structure of this world is based on law and insanity and that's the whole problem property rights ownership possessions you've got to do this and you've got to do that or you're going to hell the narrow it down it's really the the whole thing is there is such a thing as good and there's such a thing as bad you're bad and I'm good so you're going to hell and I'm going to heaven and uh, we don't like you See, now I make mistakes, but I, I'm, it's just little ones. Okay, we, we've, we've got to the point now, thousands of years have gone by, we've, we finally realize, okay, everybody makes mistakes, we can't hardly get around that. But my mistakes are just little. I understand me, but I don't understand you. Why are you doing all that stuff? I don't understand your religion, it's just crazy. We're going to have to get rid of you. And I want you to understand how bad you are. You've hurt me, and therefore I have the right to kill you. There's just no other choice. I have to get rid of you. We're going to have a war, and we're going to kill you, and everybody like you is going to die. We've got no room for anything except my views. The problem is, my views, I haven't even been allowed to be honest about. See, we're Americans. God darn it. We fought an American... World War One and Two, and we won, and you know, and 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 by golly, we are we we shed our blood for this freedom and so forth. What freedom? Have you got any freedom? This has been the biggest insanity, false flag, America <laughs> since the beginning. Right? They started off. All the people who signed our Constitution were Freemasons, a secret society. You know, they if they were up to something no good, then probably they're going to do it in a secret way because if it was all up and up and on there you know if it was all good stuff then why wouldn't they do it out in the open why wouldn't they come out and say we're shaking hands and we're on the you know Th these people know what what honesty is they know what is right and wrong we don't need rules and laws I mean if you say well you got to have a law you can't murder people if you don't know it's wrong to murder people then a law is not going to help you but you see, it's all this arbitrary stuff. Well, you can't, you know, you've got to have a seatbelt on and you can't, you can't be doing drugs. Of course, we're selling them to you. And when you do it, ha, we got you. We're going to put you in prison because, you know, you deserve it. This is how fraud and corruption gets going. They want you to believe that this and that and the other thing is wrong. They entice you to do it. And then they accuse you of doing it. You see, the whole structure is insane. And the reason why is because we got this entire false, fake world we're living in. We don't need, we got this concept we got to go to work because we got to pay for the car. You wouldn't need a car if you didn't have to go to work. Do you understand the rat race here? It's just exactly like a mouse on a treadmill. He goes round and round and round, right? And then you give him a piece of cheese, he's happy. And you tell that mouse, hey, there's a whole world out there outside this cage. And he'll look at you and say, but, <laughs> yeah, but they ain't got no cheese. He has no idea that there's tons of cheese outside that cage. And, and food that he's never even tasted before. And freedom. He's never had freedom. He didn't know what it is. Most of you out there have never, ever experienced real life. Outside of the pressures and stress that we're going through. Now, I talk about all this because I want you to get a kind of a grasp of the fact that we're in this maze, this insanity, and everything you're being told is a lie. Work, 
you got to work, you can't eat. Really? Well, out there in nature, the food just grows by itself. It grows on the trees and drops off, it falls on the ground and it rots because nobody's eating it. You ever gone throughout the anywhere in the world and you see all the nuts laying on the ground and nobody's eating? Berries just falling off the bush? And, why don't we harvest those? Because you see, no, those are free. You can't make any money on that. That's why nobody likes those kinds of berries and nuts because we've never been, it's never been marketed to us. So we're not going to go out behind the house and just pick food on it, off the ground. A lot of you think, well, you couldn't, you couldn't survive just from food on the ground. Well, think about the, the insanity of that. There's food just growing everywhere. Have you ever tried living off the, off the land? I know most of you, if they dropped you off in a field somewhere, would just die within a week or two. But, you know, ancient peoples were on this earth for thousands of years. They didn't have all these big cities and markets and stores, and they survived. And they didn't have tractors to farm. They survived. They lived off the land, and they were happy. He said, well, you don't know that, Dave. Well, I suspect that they were happier than being involved in this rat race, you see, because there's only a few things you need to do in life. It's like when I was a little kid and I was happy and I had nothing else planned and, and my mind just kind of drifted into this, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to, I'll find something to do and I was happy. It's doing something simple. But you've got so much to do, you, you can't really think about being happy. You don't, it doesn't take much to be happy. Just lose all the stress and the troubles the problems and you're going to be a lot happier and then you'll find something to do something simple you don't need some amazing thing right oh i love my car too right this would be, it's amazing but the darn thing breaks down and unless you've got a lot of money to buy a new one every year or take it to the shop there's going to be some stress involved with that and you got to pay insurance right you got you get too much stress in this world. There's too many problems. They're lying to us. They're telling us, come on into the inner cities. That's where the you know best place to live. Right? You got everything. It's all convenient. What's convenient? Drugs? Pharmaceutical companies like <laughs> Walgreens? Grocery market where there's no groceries, there's no, well, there's groceries, I guess, but there's no food in there. It's all sodas and chips and candies and crackers and sugars and oils and saturated oils and fats. And the only thing in there is, is, is fruit. And that, that has become hybridized, pesticized and homogenized and, and, and it's picked green and they spray it full of all kinds of poisons. It, we're dying. This is an entire fake world we're living in and we can't be happy this way. So what are we going to do? We talked about this. What we're doing is we're facing an impossible world here. And it's impossible. There is no way. I guarantee there's no way you're going to, you know, well, you know, if I, I got this job now and i you know, next check I'm going to have enough money to pay the rent and I'll have a little left over and I'll be happy. No, you won't. You won't have anything left over because you're going to have to spend that on a flat tire or something will come up. You you know, you're never going to have enough. If you had a million dollars, you can buy a boat and a bigger house and now you're still broke, right? And you, now your daughter and everybody in your neighborhood want money. It's going to be stressed. You're going to think, wow, I got all this money. Now I can have a better looking girl and I can have a bigger house and I can... Well, that girl's going to cost you some money, all right? She's not there because she loves you. So th there ain't no way I guarantee that you're going to be happy in this world. So it's like standing on a cliff. I mean, that first step is just the easiest thing in the world. Just boom, make that step and you're, yeah, well, how, you know, how hard is that? It's one step, but that's the hardest step you'll ever take. So friends, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and we're going to, continue on this note in the next video so click on the next video and we'll talk about this a little bit further we'll get a little deeper into this about the solution you guys have a great day